Well, I'll be hanged. King George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the King's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? <sighs> Lily-livered punk! What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. I assumed our reception would... Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say. But I'm on a certain mind otherwise. Very well. It's a rarer sheet than I expected to see from any pirate. But I promise fair treatment to all who hear me out. Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true talent. Uh, calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be equitable. Won't do you a look of good. Men like him are a blight on His Majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. The King wants them eradicated, above all else. Come calling. Bring Burgess and Cork for him as well. Man out, lads, and take this dusty town as if it were your own. Aye. But the King has been particularly ineffective in bringing about this change, hasn't he? And has failed at all attempts until now. Careful how you talk about His Majesty, Governor. You're here at his pleasure. I have my methods, Commodore, and I expect you to honor them to the letter. Make way for the king's emissaries. Out of the way, you bastards. Go on. Our only aim here is to treat with the masters of this community. All others are encouraged to go about their usual business. Go on, move. Commodore Chamberlain. Go. We see that all merchants, masons, and carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. We must see about repairing this fortress. We should be confiscating weapons, Governor. Then these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. And though well armed, we are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our most important weapon. What a Did you think every goddamn ship not flying the King's palace? So otherwise, we take so quickly in our bearings. Silence, Commodore! I am the goddamn governor here, serving at the king's pleasure, and I will make the bloody decisions. Is that clear, sir? Aye, sir. Your wishes are clear as crystal. Rogers believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders.
I pray you take the prudent course, gentlemen, and accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow. For until such time, all of you will be confined in Nassau. I am sorry for this. But in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home. Accept the king's protection forthwith, or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace, Commodore Chamberlain. We are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. Oh, thank you, sir. God save you. Look on this as a stroke of fortune, lads. We should take the King's pardon and salvage what dignity we Please. own. Please. I'll be hanged before I surrender to that bobbin. Check your head, Vane. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed it away. I won't make that mistake again. It's truth is talent. 
and you whelps can't handle it. But you, you folks all headed fuddlers, see you at the gallows. You'll all be dead men! Bastards! I need a drink. Thank <laughs> you.